Hello, Calvary. Thanks for taking a few minutes with me for the word for the day. Today's passage is Romans 12, 12. Rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. Being patient during a tribulation is a challenging thing. In 2002, my wife and I met some amazing missionaries in Mongolia who modeled this endurance. They had endured tribulation with patience. You see, they decided to begin their work in Mongolia soon after the collapse of the Soviet Union. So in 1991, they moved to this third world country with their three young children. This was a time of financial collapse in the country, and there was rationing of food. This meant that their families faced periods of significant weight loss because there was not enough to eat. Just a year before they arrived, it had been illegal to speak English in the country. So they had very few people who could communicate with them and help them navigate life in this foreign land. And more tragically, the people of Mongolia had been under the communist prohibition from all religious beliefs for seven decades. So this led to a large percentage of people holding on to atheism. Then with the fall of communism came this resurgence of Mongolian nationalism, which meant adopting folk Buddhism as their national religion. So this place was filled with trials and tribulation for all the new missionaries. The encouragement of Romans 12, 12 was important. Be patient in tribulation. Some of the ways these missionaries were able to be patient was through rejoicing in the hope of Mongolians finding joy and peace that only Jesus can be, bring. Rejoicing in hope provides endurance. Another way they endured was through constant prayer they were faced with the reality of needing to pray for daily food. Or if they needed something as simple as a bit of wire to make a repair, their only resource was to pray and then to go outside and look along the street for the supply that they needed. They were just looking for it laying on the ground. And every time God proved faithful, providing time and again, he was always helping them endure the trial with patience. So today, I don't know what trial that you're enduring. Maybe it's a health issue, maybe a financial struggle, perhaps it's relational brokenness. The list of possible trials could go on and on. But whatever it is, let me encourage you to endure it patiently. Rejoice in the hope that God will use it. He will use it to redeem. He will use it for your good and for his glory. You can count on it. You can say thank you right now to him, rejoicing in what he will do in the future. Endure your trial through constant prayer. Lift up every aspect of your need to God in prayer. Trust him to answer and provide for your need. He will be there and he will provide in some way. I hope that the words from Paul and the example of my missionary friends will help you patiently, patiently endure whatever trial you are facing today. Have a blessed Thursday, Calvary.